Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is capsule overlap actors and components? This is a really simple node in video. The capsule overlap actors node is an overlap node that will basically take a capsule for its size and dimensions and its shape and see if it overlaps anything. Let me show you this in an example form. We're gonna play and I'm gonna fire and you'll see this little shape right here. Now this is a capsule that I am using the overlap node on and then I'm drawing a debug capsule so we can see where it's at. Now in this case, if I was to hit a enemy, that enemy is of the type I wanna check for and it's gonna go ahead and destroy it because that's what I've told it to do. We could also fire it over here and you'll see that it destroyed that one or if I fired it here, that one doesn't get destroyed. And that's because I've told it not to based on its object type. So let's look at the node itself. Do note the overlap nodes here are non-visual. I'm using a draw node so we can visualize what it's going to look like. The nodes are really simple and they are very similar. They actually have the same inputs and near identical outputs. The only difference being we're going to get back the actors we hit or the components of the actors that we hit. So in terms of inputs, we have the capsule position. Where is the center of our capsule? In this case, it's wherever my bullet or my little shooting projectile hits. Then like a capsule, we have a radius or basically how far round our capsule is gonna be. And then the half height of the capsule. So from the center of the capsule to the top of the capsule, what is going to be the height? Keep in mind, because this is a capsule, in Unreal Engine, it cannot be wider than it is tall. That is something you'll have to keep in mind. In this case, for example, we see 100, 300. And if we fire it, we'll see this little capsule that goes up. Now, if I was to change it to like, for example, to be radius of 150 for the height, uh, 50 for the height, and we hit play and we fired it off, you're still gonna see an issue here. And that's because of the fact that it can, the radius and the half height well, first of all, sorry about that. Let me correct this. We kind of need to update our draw debug as well. Like I said, there's no visual component, so we need to match it up. There we go. And you'll see that it actually looks more like a sphere at this point in time. We'll shoot this and you can see it's a sphere because our half height could not be any smaller than our radius. That's just the way it works. Let's we'll see if we do this, switch this back to 100 on both of them and hit play and fire. You'll notice we get the same result. So keep that in mind, capsules, it's the way they work. They cannot be wide capsules, they have to be tall capsules only. Let's go ahead and move this back to what I want. So 300 for the half height. And we'll look at the other options. The required option on this is gonna be our object types. If I disconnect it and compile, we get an error. We have to have some sort of an object type or an object collision channel to check against. What I mean by that is in our project settings, we have default types, object channels can be customized as well, and this is what it's gonna check against. And those collision settings will be inside of whatever you're gonna check against. In this case, if we were to drag off and type make array, and did make array, this is the easiest way to get some items inside of there. So I've got it set up now where I'm gonna check against pawn. So I only want things with the object type of pawn to come back as a valid result. Optionally, I can then filter this down. So if we were to go here and fire uh, like this, you'll notice that I can't move anymore and I'm gone. What happened was I am type pawn and my characters are type pawn. So I counted as a valid output and I got destroyed. So if we go ahead and take a look, I am collision character and collision enemy is these guys right here. Let's go ahead and filter to the enemy. So we'll type in collision and we'll look for a collision enemy. We'll go ahead and compile and run this again and hit play. They get destroyed like we expect. That one doesn't and that's on purpose. And then we'll fire down like this and you'll notice, well, I'm not getting destroyed anymore. I'm no longer a valid target for this capsule. I show up as a pawn, but then I get filtered out because I only care about the enemies. The last one is the actors to ignore. So this is also another option if you need to ignore something specific. For example, I could get the player character 
and fill this in to actors to ignore. We'll make an array. We'll go ahead and put the player in here. So what it's going to do is it's going to grab all the pawns that overlap, filter it out by nothing by default, and then ignore a player if the player's in there, this player character actor. So if we run this again and I fire down, you'll notice I'm fine, but I can still destroy my enemies. Now you will notice one of those enemies is not being destroyed and that's on purpose. Remember I said we are checking against our pawn object type. If we go ahead and look at this enemy and we check out how well, he is set up, he is set up to be a pawn for the object type. But I've changed this one to not be. I've changed it to be world static. So that way he will not respond to the pawn channel and he will not go inside of our list as an overlap. Our outputs are simple. They're going to be either components or actors. Components being the individual components. So in this case, a collision component or the sphere or the cube or anything that responds on the collision channel to that object type. Or the actor means if it hits this actor and the primary collision component on it responds, then it's going to come back in our actors. So that's your difference. You can get either the individual components or the entire actor itself that responds on this collision object channel. And that's it. You can do whatever you want with it. In this case, I'm just grabbing anything I hit, looping through it and destroying them. But it doesn't matter. It's your personal choice. So that's going to wrap up our capsule overlap actors and components nodes. Takes in where the capsule starts, our radius and our half height of our capsule, which object channel for collision we want to go ahead and check against. This one is required. Optionally, which ones to filter. Only these ones will be filtered. We'll only keep these ones. And then which ones we want to remove. These are ones that will be removed from our list. If anything's left, we'll get a positive value out of our return. And then we'll get an array of either the actors or the components that met our requirements.